What is going on, Draconians? Draco Invictus here with episode seven of our revisited series of Night of the Dead. It is Horde Night 7, day six, and I have a bunch of crap that I want to get done today. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So as you can see, it is hour three. It is right after the horde. I went and cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Um, there's some stuff I want to get closer to making like the flamethrower. To do that, we need a book. That book happens to be right down the street. There's also another book that we're going to go get today because we're going to need it a little bit later on. So I want to get the book and the book is in the church. So I'm going to take you guys on an adventure. So this may be a slightly longer episode. Of course, I'm going to time lapse a bunch of stuff with all the fighting and all that stuff so that you guys get to see the footage. But we're not, you know, it's not real time. So we're saving some time. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to leave a like on the video below. If you're new around here, subscribe. Click the bell notification icon so that you may or may not get notified when YouTube decides to notify you or not, because that's how they roll. And uh, if you'd like to help out this channel and help my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, there are ways to do that down in the description below, or you can simply click the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member today. Uh, all tiers uh, unlock the emotes and badges. So there is no barrier for entry as far as that goes. You get everything, no matter how you wish to contribute to the Draco Nation. With all that out of the way, we now have a problem. We have a butcher. So I actually knew he was here. He's always been here. And we're really close to the subway. And I hear there's really good stuff in the subway, but that's for another day. Um, I'd love to shoot that bird, but you know what? We need to focus on the butcher. So... Let's do it. Wow, I expected more in the church. All right, cool. Let's raid the church. Oh, we got one crawler back there. There we go. All right. There is a katana here, by the way, if I think I just picked it up. Yeah, didn't mean to pick it up, but there is a katana here if you need one. Uh, the book we're looking for is right here on the uh, on the pedestal. So the internal combustion engine, that is the book we are looking for. So we are Johnny on the spot. Uh, the next book that we're looking for is over at the high school. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, what are you going to do? Bleed on me? <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, 
I'm going, the high school is right that direction. So I'm going to head that way and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So I made it to the high school and we're just right up the hill. If you remember in my video, how we got here, uh, we went right past the high school and we farmed out those iron nodes that were over there. And I think there is a fifth one over here. Maybe I grabbed it. I don't know. Anyway, um, we have to deal with another butcher. So let us, um, let's see. Do I want to lead him down here? Hmm. No, let's take him here. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we are now, uh, we've cleared the way to get into the building. So instead of just running in and grabbing the book, we're going to clear the place out because uh, there are some uh, really good resources. And of course, killing zombies is always a good time. So um, yeah, let's do it.
guys, the book that we're looking for is right here on the shelf. We're going to go ahead and grab that. And that's why I didn't pick up this arrow earlier, because it would have picked up the book as well. And I wanted to finish clearing out this room before we did any of that. What was that? Oh, another katana. Don't need that. Well, if you need another katana, there's one. All right. Two things we want to get here. The globe. And the journal. There you go. And uh, we haven't picked them all up in order. So, um, but yeah. Up here, second floor in the library is where the journal is. And uh, this place is now clear. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk about just briefly. Very, very briefly. If you're looking for an interesting place to build a base, you may want to think about up here. There is a crap ton of space and everyone comes through one door. I don't know how giants would ever get to you up here because, uh, yeah, they're not this tall. So I don't think anyway. <laughs> but anyway, there's also a gate or a fence that runs around the entire property. So I don't know how you would deal with giants. You may just have to deal with them down there on the road or something like that, wherever they came from. But everyone else will come right up those stairs and you could soften them up with spikes all along the way. You could throw in a couple traps, you know, leading like right into the staircase coming up from these stairs. Um, so yeah, you can build in here. You can build up top. It is well worth the visit. So uh, let us now head back outside. Someone was banging out here earlier. I don't know who it was. I don't know, maybe it was that guy there. He's out here causing noise. Say goodnight. All right. So I'm going to do some looting. I'm going to loot that car, the barrels and stuff. Like oh, we can open the gate. There we go. And then I'm just going to head back home. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, guys, and we made it home safely. I know, shocker of shockers. Uh, inventory is quite full. I chopped down some trees, broke down some stone, uh, because we were going to need more limestone anyway, because I was, like, out of limestone. So now we've got cut out a bit. So I'm going to put some stuff away, and then we're going to do some minor rearranging down here. Just it, It's just going to be a little... So anyway, I will show you guys... Uh, what we get up to in just a second, but uh, I don't think I want to record me putting away my inventory. All right, I haven't even gotten down to the uh, the maze yet, but I did. Uh, since we went and got the book, I wanted to take Master Mechanic because that's the book, with the internal combustion engine, so that we can make an engine, and we happen to have uh, just enough uh, research points. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now let's see what it's going to take to actually build an engine. Um, oh crap, we have to upgrade the table. Oh, that's going to suck. What do we take? Oh, let's see. A motor, three electronic devices, and a fuse. Okay. What does it take to make a motor? Rings, plastic, iron ingots, copper ingot. Okay. Uh, so let's grab... Two of those. Oh god. That was half shit. There we go. Anyway. Uh, I wanted to do that. There we go. Okay. And what else do we need? Plastic rubber rings. We got those two. One motor. Got it. Okay, what else do we need? Three electronic devices. We should have two left over. Or did we use those for building the, the solar panels? Oh, you know what? I think we did for or the, the wind turbine in the battery. Maybe that's what we use those for. So, iron plate, copper wire.
one fuse. Iron plate, copper wire. All right, now we just need 20 nails, three plates, five rebar. You know what? Uh, we need to make some rebar. Three more turns. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to waste the whole episode doing this. Um, I don't even know that I can build a transistor yet. Can I? I cannot because I need junior researcher. Okay, so we're at a standstill with that. I'm going to gather up my stuff. We're going to go uh, get the, uh, the maze cleaned up and let's get to it. Okay, I still haven't made it down there. I was finishing putting my stuff away and I realized... I had stupid research data in here with the books. So we may be able to do junior researcher. Oh, we can. Perfect. All right. Wait, we also need senior technician because we need to make the electronic circuit. Don't have enough for that. Okay. So now let's head downstairs. All right, guys. So I did a little remodeling. <laughs> yeah. At least it's only hour 15. All right. So here's the deal. I'm not going to, to time lapse this. We've already done a bunch of time lapse stuff. I'm worried that this video is going to be too long as it is. So what I'm going to do is explain it to you really quickly, and then I'll show you what I actually did. This center floor is going to be an alleyway that we will be able to walk down all the way up to here so that we will be able to fix traps because until we get power working, and I, I feel like I'm running behind the curve here, um, but that's all right. We'll make do until then. Okay, so central alley, we're gonna put up the uh, the protective walls, upgrade them all the way to uh, steel so that we can simply reach through and reload stuff on both sides. I'm going to do a meat grinder, uh, a double shredder, uh, alleyway here on both sides, right? Uh, so it'll be side by side, like a shredder here and a shredder here, and then another one and another one, and then probably a pendulum with some uh, floor spikes and stuff like that. And then over here is going to, this chest will move right now. It's full because I ran out of room in my inventory. So I had to start dumping stuff in there. Um, but I'm going to have two doorways. And basically, I'm going to make them all come down one side because this door here will be open. This door will be closed. They won't want to come down this way because the door will be closed. Okay, this door is open, so they'll come down and there's going to be another wall here. So they'll cut this way and then have to come back to go through the door. That's why I'm leaving the trap floor there. Because even if I'm standing right here, they're going to come at me. The first one that comes through the door shuts the door, then falls through the trap. Trap resets. I come over here and I open the other door. And now everyone reverses back through and comes this way. That's the idea. That's how shit like this used to work. We're going to see if it still works. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So as you can see, it is hour 22. I've been working my tail off. But I think I got something that uh, we're going to like. So, um, yeah, let's take a look and see what we did. Well, first off, I put the metal mesh and we're going with a double shredder. We're just going for a meat grinder twice. First, we have compressors. No matter which lane they choose or I want them to go down, they have the compressor to deal with. And then got two sets of meat grinders into another compressor with a spiked floor underneath it. Pendulum with a couple spiked floors. Let's come in here. 
So yeah. So we've got the double meat grinder, presser with a spiked floor, two more spiked floors underneath the pendulum. And then if they come through here and they come after me when I'm in here, boom, they fall through the trap door. Now, of course, the doors, as soon as one comes through, this door is automatically going to shut. At least that's what I remember it as. So um, then I have to remember to open this door up. And yeah, I may go away from doors because doors are always kind of weird to me. Uh, and then we have two uh, ballistas. Uh, and then the ammo for it is right here. So um, yeah, it uh, took a bit of work. And what I did up here is I got the doors and then we put a bridge across here. And then I got all this, you know, properly secured and stuff like that so that we can get into the house. So ultimately, um, we're, we're going to be okay. This is, I think this is going to be just fine. We're not going to have any big issues tonight. I think that, that this is a solid, solid setup. And, um, yeah, between the, the little spikes out front and the, um, the dealer's choice down here. The problem is, is that it is going to take me, you know, a few seconds to get down here. Oh, wrong way. And, and like swap doors if I want to. Uh, one thing in here. So I went with the, the upgraded metal so I could easily get through everything. The reason these rails are here is to protect my own dumb ass. <laughs> so, um, I won't if because if you get up right against this, you could get hit by the shredders. So I went and put the rails here so that I can still reach everything so I can um, refill them as I need to. But I'm not going to get hit by them. So that's the, the, the main goal there. And then I just got a few lights up top so we can see. All right, uh, we are going to uh, wait and see what happens. And um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys when the horde comes. And it has started. Dum, dum, dum. I need to put rails up here, but uh, not right now. I suppose I could. What's it going to hurt, right? Yeah, don't have nothing for upgrade. Oh, this way, huh? Look at him hitting all those spikes. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about him. No, nope. God, God. Oh, no. Damn it. All right, come on. Let me open this door. Come on through. There we go. Okay. Let me uh, grab that. That. Someone went splat. Branches. Problem is, I think all my branches are out there on me. But with this door open, at least they'll still path to me. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe they're just going to stand out there and destroy all my crap. Do I have any branches in here? I do. Good. Alright. And then I probably need... Um, 
that's not what I need, but I need, uh, let's grab that. There we go. Okay. Come on, guys. Not hearing anything. Was that it for, oh, wow. I could have gone down there and got my stuff. Let's go down here and check on repairs. All right. Yeah, 63. Let's reload that. Bounce over there. 63. How are these looking? 94. 94. We'll go ahead and leave those for now. go get my stuff but I'll have to make a jump down there after yeah the double meat grinder is just ridiculous. If they can even, even if the trash mobs can't make it up here. Not get uh, okay. Didn't get my katana. Because my inventory was that full ahead of time. That's all right. Let's see what we got? Oh, inventory's full. Yeah, we're not picking nothing up. I didn't even load these. Man, I suck. Leather helmet, all right. I did pick up a copper armor. And it's just greens and whites. We'll be okay there. We'll have to take a step back when the hunters show up. Oh, we got the vandals too. How's he gonna do? Oh, wow. All right.
He's down here making noise. Hey, dumbass. And I probably can't get an angle. Oh, yeah, I can. How'd you even get stuck underneath that, huh? See some flaming doggos over there. Come on, boys and girls, let's go. Doing great. Yep. This is what I wanted. This is what I expected. Some of this is going to chew them up and spit them out. Alright, let's go down there and check on our shredders. Fifty two. Are we done? Other than someone being stupid down there? Doggo, what are you doing down there? Sixty two. All right. I'll come through here and repair all this stuff. You guys want to see me doing all that? Oops, wrong button. Take all. There we go. All right. All right, guys. That was pretty successful, other than not paying attention to when the the heavies were coming and have him pull me right off. Uh, take all. Ah, oh, I'm still... Okay. Hold on. There's got to be something in here that's like a one-off. Like, I can eat this garlic... Well, I'll just eat this meat. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we got all of our inventory back. All right, guys. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. 
uh, for the coming day, um, I really need to focus on electricity. And I also need to make sure that I have enough materials to actually make it worthwhile because we are literally, what, three hordes away, right? Because this was horde seven. So horde 10 is when the first giant's going to show up. So I definitely want powered things. I want electricity running uh, before then. So, um, yeah, that is what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done today. Uh, but there's uh, definitely more things that we're going to need to do. Obviously, long, always farming for resources and stuff like that. So I will pick you guys up on the next episode. Hey, if you guys are liking this content, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, it really means the world to me. If you're new around here, subscribe. Click the bell notification icon so you may or may not get notified by YouTube when I post a new video. Hopefully you do. And uh, if you want to help support this channel and uh, help me grow the Draco Nation into something that is... Uh, that everyone would be proud to be part of, then there are ways to do that down in the description below, or you can simply click on the join button and become a member today. All tiers get access to all the emotes and badges and all that stuff, and you will help me shape this channel. So until next time, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the best day in my life. See ya!